CA Service Virtualization plugin for Jenkins provides out-of-the-box integration of CA Service Virtualization capabilities directly within the Jenkins environment. This means that I can create Jenkins job that will start or stop virtual services, deploy or undeploy them, and also I can create a job that will deploy and start tests or test suite. Let me do a quick demo. Here on the screen, this is my Jenkins instance, where the CA Service Virtualization plugin is already installed. Let me investigate one of the jobs, Deploy Virtual Service. I will click to configure, the typical Jenkins project configuration screen will appear. And one of the first steps here is that I want to retrieve the artifacts from the source code repository. In this particular case, it's a GitHub repository, where in the artifacts directory, I have two MAR files representing two virtual services I want to deploy. So this is defined here and within the build section I can see the build step provided by the plugin which will deploy the virtual service. I specify the VSC name and the wildcard expression of the MAR files that should be deployed. That's fine for me, let's start this job. But first of all, let me double check the portal UI that nothing is already deployed. I will run the job. Within a couple of seconds, these two MAR files will be deployed and two virtual services will appear in Portal UI. That's it. Now let me go back to the Jenkins and show a bit more complex scenario. This job will start the tests using the Jenkins pipeline. Jenkins Pipeline is a way how to define everything in code using the Jenkins Pipeline script. The CE Service Virtualization plugin fully supports this scripting and provides out-of-the-box ready commands that you can use. Here, as a first step, I again retrieve the artifacts from the source code repository. Then, I will deploy the virtual service. After that, I will run test that's using this virtual service. The next step is that I will publish the test report and at the end, as a last step, I will clean up the environment. Let me go back and start this pipeline. Here in this Jenkins UI, I can track the progress of my pipeline. So in the beginning, the artifacts are retrieved now I'm in the middle of the testing process. Now, it's completed, everything is green, that's fine. Let me investigate the details. I can go to the console output where I can double check what happened based on the output that's being produced during the run of the job. I'm especially interested in this section related to the testing specifically. I can see that all of the tests passed. Two tests were executed, zero tests failed. That's good. What I can do also, I can display simple testing report within the Jenkins UI. Here I can see that two tests were run. If I will click into them, I can even see the cycles. So. This was the very brief demo of CA Service Virtualization Jenkins plugin capabilities. Where to get the plugin? It's very easy. You can go to the Jenkins Marketplace directly from the Jenkins UI and install the plugin from there. Let me select the available tab and filter for CA Service Virtualization. Here it is. I can select the plugin and install. 